Blog Talk Radio. Stevie B's Media Production is a part of the Shellcaster Network. Stevie B Media Production presents Acapella Gospel Music Blast with your host, Stevie B. Playing your favorite acapella music from the world's greatest acapella artist. Sit back, relax, and listen to the sweet sound of voices. We're flying at 30,000 feet, and you're riding with Stevie B. You can call into the live show, 713-955-0508, or email us, butlersteve1009 at yahoo.com. Contact us. Let us know who's riding with Stevie B on the blast tonight. This is the Acapella Gospel Music Blast, and you're listening to Stevie B. This radio show is the 2022 recipient for the Nakama the National Academy of Christian Acapella Music Artists Award for Outstanding Achievement in Record. All radio. This radio show is being broadcast from Stevie B Media Production at the Carolina Studio in the great state of North Carolina. This is Stevie B. And I'm the Blaster Master of Acapella Gospel Music. And according to the late Yvonne, the general Connor from Dayton, Ohio, she said Stevie B is the hardest working Christian DJ in the world today. May the good Lord have mercy. On a soul. That was my dear sister right there. I have a quote from East Ace, Jesse Marat from Straight Company from Louisville, Kentucky. He was on the show as the producer for Acapella Group Divine Experience with one of the lead vocalists, Brandon P.K. Smith from Tampa, Florida. East Ace said, I really appreciate this quote from East Ace. He said, my radio voice, <laughs> my energy, my creativity is refreshing and Nobody does it better because nobody's going to outwork me. I have a quote from Brian Malone from Committed Acapella Chorus from Rogersville, Alabama. He says, Stevie B is the hardest working man on the radio. I have a quote from Thurman Meadows from Temple, Texas. He says, Stevie B is the hardest working man in acapella music on I have a quote from late, the late Irvin C. Jackson from Wesley Chapel, Florida. He says, Stevie B is the greatest and the hardest working man. He said, I consider you to be the lighthouse of acapella gospel music. I have a quote from Mr. Uwe himself, Dorian Paul from Houston, Texas. He says, Stevie B, we need you. We need you, Doc. Don't you go nowhere because we need you. I have a quote from my dear brother Jeremy Roberts from I at Virginia. He says, Stevie B. Is the hardest working man on the radio, period. That's what he said, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just telling you what they said. <laughs> I will quote from my dear brother, Anthony Blunt. He's the radio host of the Gospel Train. It airs on Sunday morning on Facebook Live at 7.30 a.m. And this show also airs on 94.7 FM, WWBC 1510 AM in Rockley, Florida. He said the same thing during our interview on his radio show. So it must be some truth to it. I have a quote from Kenneth Ray from Made No Acapella Ensemble from Louisville, Kentucky. He says, Stevie B is the hardest working brother in acapella music on the ones and twos. I have a quote from comedian Tim Pryde from right here in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Sorry, he said, but the person you call there are many no great Stevies in the world, like Stevie Wonder that made nothing but classics in the music game. But you also need to know about my guy that's killing the radio game, my guy Stevie B. I have a quote from Cali JT from Los Angeles, California. He's with Acapella Group Exodus 2.0. He says, Stevie B puts the A in Acapella Music. Stevie B is awesome. Stevie B is amazing. Now, I have a quote from Al Pratt. He's the founder of the Camel Awards. Now, I'm, I'm going to do this quote in Al Pratt's voice. He said, Stevie B, the Acapella DJ, often imitated but never duplicated. Not only is he the hardest working, I'm telling you, he's the smartest working DJ in Acapella Music. Stevie B. Now, that's an Al Pratt's voice. <laughs> now, I have a quote from my dear brother Ali Zell from right here in Fayetteville, North Carolina. He says, Stevie B is the mouth of acapella gospel music. And I have a quote from Hammond Burke. This is the last quote from Hammond Burke. He's the creator of the Shellcaster Network, and he's from Plano, Texas. He says, 
Stevie B is the ambassador of the world of acapella. I like that. Stevie B's acapella gospel music class. All right, let me get this big iron bird on up off the ground. I rubbed my two little coins together and bought me an airplane. But you can't be the blaster master unless you're dropping bombs on your radio show. I said boom, boom. Ladies and gentlemen, we are taking back Friday night for the Lord. Oh, yes, we are. For the next two hours, I'm going to play some of your favorite acapella gospel songs from such artists as Straight Company, Dorian Park, Mel Power Cars, and many, many more. We for our listeners tonight. You can give me a call to the last show at 713-955-0508. Or you can go to my, uh, send your emails to my new email address, butlersteve1009 at yahoo.com. Let me know who's riding with me on the blast tonight. I'm trying to lift up your spirit with these inspirational songs on a Friday night. That's right. It's Friday night. And Stevie B is playing a cappella gospel music. So turn up your spiritual ears. Stevie B's a cappella gospel music blast. At the bottom of the hour, we'll be featuring my song of the week. Want to feature a song and tell you a little bit about the artist. And this song will get two plays on the show tonight. And we also want to dedicate this feature to my dear sister and friend, the late Linda Dilly from Tulsa, Oklahoma. We just want to keep her memory alive on this radio show. We'll also be featuring on the broadcast my funny bones. You know I love those comedians because laughter is good for the soul. We'll be featuring two comedians on the show tonight. And also during the broadcast, we'll have my shout outs. Now, these are just some people I've been in contact with, whether it be here on social media or people I've been meeting in my local area here right outside of Fort Liberty. It's no longer Fort Bragg. It's Fort Liberty, North Carolina, who are listening to this radio show and they just love a cappella gospel music. And I've actually been meeting people who never even heard a cappella gospel music. So it's just a thrill for me just to be able to introduce them to this great music that we get to enjoy here on The Blast on our Friday night. So I just want to show them some love and let them know how much I really do appreciate their love and support for these radio shows. And I also have a feature on the broadcast called My Monthly Triple Spin. So for the entire month, I'll be featuring an acapella group or an artist, and I'll be featuring three of their singles for every show for the entire month, with the exception of my top 20 countdown show. I have a new feature called my old 100s, and I'll be dedicating this feature to my dear sister and friend, the late wife, Vaughn the General Connor from Dayton, Ohio. She said, Stevie B, you got to play something for the old folk. <laughs> so I considered what she said, and of course she was right. So I came up with the feature, my old 100s. You know, she was with me from the beginning, and we really do miss her. So we just want to keep her memory alive. So you got Stevie B. The Blaster Master, loose in the booth on the ones and twos. Stevie B's acapella gospel music blast. As I go through my playlist tonight, I will be announcing the previous interviews with the various acapella artists and producers and writers as well that I have interviewed on these radio shows in the past few years. I'll tell you what episodes they appeared on as I go through my playlist tonight. So you can go back and listen to those episodes on the various musical platforms, wherever you're getting your favorite podcast from. Just search for Stevie B Media Productions, whether it be on Spotify, Pandora, Apple iTunes, Amazon Music, YouTube, Deezer, just to name a few. If I did a recorded version of that live show here on Blog Talk Radio, I will also tell you uh, what episodes those recorded version shows are on as well. Now, if you have ever, if you have never heard any of my recorded version shows, all that is is I recorded the live show over again using the same playlist. I just took my voice out of the show. Now, some people say that's a blessing. I don't know, but that's just what they say. Uh, and the sound quality is excellent. It was done in beta high fidelity. So I think you'll really enjoy what you're hearing on my recorded version shows. Now, these recorded version shows can only be heard on iHeartRadio, on Deezer, and also on Amazon Music. Just search for Stevie B recorded versions. All right? Stevie B's acapella gospel music. Blast. My up-
upcoming events. On tonight's show, my special guest is Corey Felton from Rockledge, Florida. He has a new single that will be debuting on the broadcast tonight. And also, my special guest on the show is my man, George G. from Boca Raton, Florida. He's an active member of the International Recording Artist Street Company from Louisville, Kentucky. He always comes on the show at the last show of the month. So looking forward to talking to him on the broadcast. And we'll have a single from Straight Company for my song of the week. And on September the 6th, there will be no show scheduled. On September the 13th, my special guest will be Vicki Ward. She's a Buckaroo Buckara Butler, Mississippi. I think I'm pronouncing that right, but I'm looking forward to having her on the broadcast. And then on uh, my next quarterly Top 20 Countdown show will be on October the 18th. I'm starting to do these Top 20 Countdown shows every quarter now instead of doing them every month. Now, on November the 28th through the 30th, that's Thanksgiving weekend, we have the Nakama Awards, National Academy of Christian Acapella Music Artists Awards in Jacksonville, Florida, and that event will be held at the Hyatt Regency uh, Hotel, Riverfront Hotel there in Jacksonville, Florida. Looking forward to going to that awards this year. And also, you can catch me on the weekend on Capella Radio. That's K-A-P-P-E-L-L-A radio.com out of Memphis, Tennessee. If you're a lover of acapella gospel music, you'll really love what you're hearing on that weekend show. I'll be on Friday and Saturday on Capella Radio. So who's on the playlist tonight? We have some new singles from Exodus 2.0, Run Walker from Oklahoma, Steve Adams out of Houston, Texas, straight coming out of Louisville, Kentucky, and uh, my man uh, Corey Felton out of Rockledge, Florida. Got a great show playing, great playlist tonight. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. So enjoy the ride, ladies and gentlemen. On the blast tonight, Stevie B is on the air. You are in the mix with Stevie B, the blast and master of acapella gospel music. Kicking off the show tonight, I have two singles from two groups out of Houston, Texas. Actually, my man Dorian Paul Williams out of Houston, Texas. His single, Christian Life, from his 2016 album, a breakthrough. I think you're going to love this song. And also to be followed by the Soul Influence. I just love this group. Their single, Keep My Light in the Window, from that 2007 album, You Gotta Believe. And this song is number 19 on my top 20 countdown show for the month of July. Enjoy this double play to Houston, Texas boys out of <laughs> groups, rather, out of Houston, Texas. Dory Paul Williams and the Soul Influence. You guys, Stevie B on the ones and twos. Enjoy the show. I bet you didn't think it would be rough like me. Yeah. Bet you thought that you could make your old life seem. Yeah. Bet you wasn't ready for the turns and tweets. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey the life, my friend. Looking for peace. That seems to be the statement going out all over this country. People trying to figure out just what to do. Cards on the table show don't look good. Want to do the right thing, looking at the wrong thing. Oh, the wrong thing was tempting. But you said you was going to do right. But you didn't know you were in for a fight. And I'm telling you, what you talking about living? Living is Christian life. <laughs> You better get ready if you're talking about this Christian life. Oh, ain't no joke if you're talking about living this Christian life. Uh, but the fight is sure worth fighting if you're living the Christian life. Can't do this, can't do that. That's the very thing I wanna do, and that's a fight. Fighting these urges and these surges to get my money out and just go splurging. But the bills have got to be paid. I don't even know why I'm feeling this way. Said you was going to do right, but you didn't know you were in for a fight. And I'm telling you, what you talking about living? Living Christian life. You better get ready if you're talking about Christian life. Oh! 
Your life. 
Matthew Jones, he lives in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Matthew Jones, Stevie B, wants to give you a shout out. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Peace and love, everyone. This is your girl Genesis Archer from Jacksonville, Florida, and you're listening in to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Hey, this is Tony Carter from the Chicagoland area, and if you are looking for God to give you a song to sing like Jesus, then you tuned in to the right place. You're listening to Stevie B on the Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Dum, 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 hey, this is John Poo Malone. And you're listening to the acapella gospel music blast with Stevie B. Coming up next, I got a double play coming your way. My man Teray Mack from Jacksonville, Florida. He has a single Time to Move from his 2016 album, Time to Move. This is the title track. You're going to love this song. And uh, Teray Mack was also the 2016 The Camera New Artist of the Year. And also that'll be followed by Call by God. I like saying that. Call by God. I call some boy out of Nashville, Tennessee. They have a single Clean Heart from their 2019 album for his purpose. You're going to love this song. And this group was also the 2022 recipient for the New Artist of the Year for the camera. Enjoy this double play to Ray Mack and Call by God. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Well, it was just a short time ago. My friend turned their backs. My soul was feeling low. I didn't know which way to go. But then I got a one-way call from Jesus. He came and picked up the pieces. And this is what he said to me. He said, follow me. I set you free. Pack your back, cause it's Follow me. I set you free. 
Cameron Jones, he lives in Duval County, Jacksonville, Florida. We headed your way Thanksgiving weekend. Cameron jo- Johnson, Stevie B wants to give you a shout out. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. In four, three, two. Hey, this is Dorian Paul, and you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Oh, way. What's going on, everybody? This is Mario McKinnon coming to you from Charlotte, North Carolina, and you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Y'all keep listening. For everything he's done, I got to praise the Lord. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Hey, this is John Pumalone. And you're listening to the acapella gospel music blast with Stevie B. Hey. Oh, yeah. Stevie B's song of the week. We'll be dedicating this feature to my dear sister and friend, the late Linda Dilly from Tulsa, Oklahoma. She was a member of my staff here at Stevie B Media Production from the year 2016 to June of 2021. She wrote all the questions for the artists that we interviewed on this radio show, and we just want to keep our memory alive on this broadcast. Stevie B's Song of the Week. This week we're featuring in my Song of the Week, Corey Felton from Rockledge, Florida. Corey, welcome to the blast. Thanks for having me, Mr. B. Thank you for having me, brother. How you enjoying the ride tonight? Oh, the ride is smooth. No turbulence, no bumpy bumps. Just as smooth as it can be. <laughs> Man, I tell you, it's storming, on the, it's storming up here in North Carolina. How's the weather yeah, down there? Yeah, that, yeah, well, that storm came from us, man. Oh, it came from y'all? <laughs> yeah, it hit us yeah. a couple of weeks ago. I'm Man, I don't good. In the clear yeah, I don't know what's going on with my phone lines. People are texting me, telling me they can't uh, get in contact with the show tonight. And on my end, everything seems to be working fine. Well, you so, know, I had that same issue tonight, and um, I don't know. It, it could be the results of that storm and knocked out yeah. my phone service. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's how it is when you're on the internet. Yeah, man. I, I'm, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Internet, that it's, it's just the storm will, will bring it out, and, and they'll, they'll bring it back, but you can count on that storm causing some ripples. Now, Corey, why don't you uh, give a brief introduction of yourself to my listening audience, for those who are not familiar with you? Okay, for those who are not familiar with me, I am, uh, my name is Corey Felton, i um, been in the, the Church of Christ all my life, so I'm very, very, very um, in tune with the acapella music So I produce music I write music and arrange music And uh, not only for myself But for others um, that, that would like me to do that Production for them so, um, I am a former member Of the New Faithful Few For those who know the New Faithful Few um, Those were my brothers and sisters um, Blood brothers and sisters And then two of them were my God Sisters but okay. yes, I'm in that group. Um, and then after we dissolved, I went solo undercover, just making yeah. everything predictable. Solo in the undercover, background. huh? Solo undercover. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so I, I, didn't, I didn't let them know what I was doing, so I was just doing it. <laughs> so you didn't let them do what like you were doing. <laughs> yeah, and then I just went to playing stuff, and they're like, oh, oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
wonder a little bit. Then I told him, that's, 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 that's yours truly. That's me. <laughs> That is hilarious. Now, also, talk, now, Mr. Radio, ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Radio's son, uh, Joe Felton, down there in Florida. Absolutely. What Absolutely. they call him, the country boy, Joe Felton? Is that his nickname? Yep, old country boy. The old country boy. Yeah, a lot of Yeah. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed him uh, when I had him on the show. I don't know if it was last year or year before last he came on the show. I really had a good time with him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, I did hear a fun yeah. fact about you from uh, George D. Yeah. when he was on the show uh, last month. He, he told out me to that. George G. Yeah, now, George D. was supposed to be on the show tonight, but I don't know what's going on with him. Uh, I guess everybody's having yeah, problems you know, connecting to the show. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, oh, he I, might I'm have sure heard. Hey, Corey. Hey, Corey, he might have heard that uh-huh. you was going to be on the show, so he just didn't show up. <laughs> No, man, no, I guarantee that's not what happened. Actually, he texted me and reminded me. It was like, bro, we got, we need you Friday. We need okay, you Friday. So okay. That's how I had the issue other than yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, because normally George would be on the show. call him like he did me, man. Yeah, well, I sent him a text message to remind him about the show, and I don't know if he hadn't, I hadn't, I hadn't heard anything from him, so. He, no, he's okay. on tour he's right now. Line, but see, he's on. Issue. But see, he's on tour right now as well with Straight Company. So that he's probably traveling. Yeah. So there's no telling. But okay. so normally George is faithful. Exactly. He's he, he normally on the show when he's supposed to be on the show. So that's so something exactly. definitely going on. Yeah. So we'll find out later. Yeah. Now exactly. let's yeah. now tell us about this new single that we're playing in my storm, my song of the week, uh, Storm of Life. Tell us about this new single. Yes. The storm of life, man. I, um, it was a, it's a personal song for me. Um, I just recognize, I just recognize, man. This this life that we live from birth to now, um, it's gonna be stormy. It's just no way around it. It's gonna That's be right. stormy. That's but right. if you can look through the storm, you'll see the clear days as well. You're gonna have clear days. You're gonna have stormy days. And guess what? Mm-hmm. You're also gonna have in between days. That's right. That's right. And that's a part of life. And when you learn that, there's nothing to kick against. You know, the Bible talks about kicking against the prick. Mm-hmm. You, you, there's nothing to kick against. You just go with the flow of life and Amen. knowing with what you're educated about, which is basically right from wrong. Mm-hmm. We know that. That's right. And uh, live your life, man. And, let, let, and then when you do that, guess what I find out? In my experience, I find out that you hear this the, the voice of God more. Mm-hmm. Now, now you that's can have I peace find. in the midst of a storm. Now, absolutely, that's you can what have I peace find in the midst of a storm. I, you can hear God's voice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in, in, in the in, in the storm, and that that becomes your peace. Amen. He is our yeah, peace. Yeah. That's for sure. So this song, this song is definitely uh, a, a very special song. It's a jam, though. You know, it's okay. totally different. Okay. From, but so it's, it's a jam. A jam man. <laughs> I, I jam to it every time it plays. I, I can't help it. it. It it just it just preached to me. Now I'm gonna <laughs> tell you. Now I'm gonna tell you, Corey. I'm gonna tell you, Corey. I was I was riding down the streets of Fayetteville in my car the other day, and I was listening yes, to sir. Give Jesus a Try. And man, you yes, had sir. my speakers. My speakers was bumping. <laughs> Don't you give Jesus a try? <laughs> I love it, Doc. I love it. Yeah, I yeah, said Corey I'm, I'm is on to something for, here, for, huh? I'm a big fanatic for 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 jamming, man. I just yeah, love man. Jam, Doc. Yeah. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, yeah I'm I, proud I, about myself, Doc. I'm a jam. I love yeah, it. Yeah, you got some. You got some nice tracks, man. I'm, I'm enjoying what I'm hearing from you. Now, George G did tell yeah. me a fun fact about you uh, on the oh, show last you. month. He told me yeah, that that you had a contract with Universal Studios. Tell us about that. Okay, so what I did was it was actually. Famous records, which use uh, Universal as uh, distribution, which is a okay. big deal. Yes, sir. okay. So okay. I, they signed me for four years, and then um, somehow they just they wanted to sign me for four more. So I okay. had an eight-year 
um, or eight year reign with distribution through the Universal and uh, the the the, uh, the record company, Famous Records. Okay. So what is it yeah. that you was doing for them? If you don't mind telling us. Oh, they were just distri- dis- distributing my music. Um, I, I was, you know, they they gave me reign to write and, and produce and do the run of, of the whole production. Okay. And um, they just did my distribution. That's the contract I had. I had a distribution contract. Okay. Hey, Corey, I am just so thrilled that you're on the show tonight, man, and sharing your music with us. You know, I always appreciate you coming on the show, brother. Look here, brother. I, I, I feel that appreciation, and I told you I'm committed to uh, the rest of this year. Okay. <laughs> and until I quit writing music. So you, All right. you get a you get a single from me once a month. All right. All right. Well, I got you on my calendar. I like the jam, man. I like the okay. jam. You got to tell me to cut it off or stop. Okay. You know? Well, you know I'm jamming on Friday night. Hey, you know I'm flying yes, thirty thousand feet. You already know it. <laughs> yes, you are. You are jamming, and I want to be a part of that number. You hear me? I know that's right. Hey, Corey. Hey, yes, they sleep. They, they hey, Corey. They sleeping on me, Corey. They sleeping on me. No. <laughs> Boys that wake up, what well, they gonna be? They gonna find themselves behind, brother. I'm telling you. I'm a, hey, I'm gonna drop a. Man. Hey, hey, Corey. I'm gonna I'm drop a bomb on them. <laughs> look, look. I'm gonna be in the cockpit with you, baby. I know uh, that. that's it's right. Either get 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 bombed on or roll with the, with the train. That's baby. right. Now, I'm telling you, Corey. I am so impressed with the production of these acapella tracks that I'm playing on Friday night. I'm telling you, man. We we don't have to take a backseat to anybody when it, it comes to acapella gospel man. music. You know, no, it don't. And, and you know what? It's enough music to 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 put out two and three tours at a time at the same right. time. Right, right. And that's how and you I'm, spread that word through that music. Oh, listen to that versus reading. They're, they're, and I'm they're telling listening you, to the music or audio books versus literally reading like we did right. when we were kids. Right. And, and I'm going to tell you, man, I'm going to tell you. Now, if, I know you know about the Melody Airs, right? Oh, man, I grew up with Melody Airs. Yeah. Well, a big influence to, to me now, and, and, and the new face of few. Right. Sure. Now, the Melody Airs, this group, Johnny Wilder Jr. produced this group. The late Johnny Wilder. Yes, yeah, very familiar with and, Johnny Wilder. And, and the diversity of tracks for they I think they had about three albums. But man, when I played the Melody Airs, even to even now, the the yeah. production on those tracks, man, they, they sound like they just produced this music in twenty twenty three, twenty twenty four. You know what I'm you, saying? Man. When I'm you listen you to you these tracks being ahead of your time. Yeah, and I'm going to play one after I finish with you. When I come back, after I finish with you, I have a single that I'm going to play for the Melody Airs. I'm telling you, man, I just yeah. love the Melody Airs. I'm telling you. Folks I'm are sleeping you, on can, acapella gospel out, music. I was just jamming to them the other day. I could throw one out right now. It's funny you say Melody Airs. Boy, that Lord, I thank you. Oh, my mm-hmm. goodness. You hear me? Well, look yeah. Hey, oh, yeah. if you want to jam, boy, you put that one on, you're going to jam. You hear me? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna play oh, them right after I finish yeah. with you. I'm gonna put a, a track yeah, on from yeah. the Melody Airs because I'm, I love the Melody Airs. I'm gonna be right man. here listening. I'm, I'm gonna enjoy that too. I'm gonna be right here listening. I'm, hey, you, you forget it. I'm almost in the cockpit, brother. I'm all right, all place. right, all yeah. right. <laughs> hey, hey, we're gonna go ahead and play this song of the week. We're gonna go ahead and play your song, ladies and gentlemen. We have a new single from Corey Felton from Rockledge, Florida. He has a new single called "Storms of Life." Hey, brother, thank you for riding with us. On the blast and sharing your music with us. Certainly appreciate you, brother. You're so welcome. You're so welcome. You got me, Doc. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my man Corey Felton from Rockless Water. His new single, Storm of Life. You got Stevie B. (laughs) All right. Enjoy. Stevie B's Song of the Week. As the day begins. I can't help but wonder how it's going to end The storms of life Raging all around Look at the time now Do you ever think it's going to stop? Where are the good times? There's one thing that I 
I know for sure All of a sudden it's going to come to an end We're in Yeah Oh I want to be a mom I got a double play coming your way. The Melody is out of Houston, Texas. Their single flowing. I just love this song. This is number seven on my top 20 countdown show for the month of July. And that'll be followed by Vonda Tucker Waller from Phoenix City, Alabama. Her single, Lift My Eyes. You're going to love this song from the 2004 album, Bless Me. Enjoy this double play. The Melody Airs <laughs> and Vonda Tucker Waller. You got Stevie B on the ones and twos. Flowing down the river of
from Dallas, Texas, and you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. This is Cool Debris, and you are listening to Stevie B, the master blaster of Acapella Gospel Music. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Hey, this is John Poo Malone, and you're listening to the Acapella Gospel Music Blast with Stevie B. Coming up next, I have my special guest on the show tonight, my man George G. from Boca Raton, Florida. George G., welcome to the Blast. Man, Stevie B., man, I made it. I made yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> you slid in at home. <laughs> you slid in, dog. I slid in. Stevie B., you, you a veteran, man. You ever got anything from the Veterans uh, Administration late at night, man? You know, uh, late delivery. You ever got one like that? No, I ain't never got nothing like that from the Veterans Administration. You ain't know what you got? <laughs> well, I'm, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no man, it's not that it came in late. It's just that I I I got it late when I got it. So I was looking at my colonoscopy medicine. Ooh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, is a TMI? Is it is a TMI? Is a TMI doc? Is it too uh, much information? <laughs> okay, you you doing I'm, all right? I'm, I'm trying to hear the rest I'm doing, of it. I'm doing, <laughs> Uh, you know how you know, I mean? Come on, man. You know how we roll once a month. Yeah, man. So I was l- looking at my colonoscopy medic medicines and stuff and the instructions on on how to take it. And then I remembered. I said, man, I'm supposed to be with Stevie V. I'm sitting oh, here reading this. Goodness. You doing yeah, a colonoscopy man, tomorrow? Said, no, not tomorrow. Uh, so they sent me the uh, instructions. I, I got one in about maybe. 
two and a half, three weeks coming up here. Okay. okay. Uh, probably when I when I get off tour from uh, Savannah. Okay. Uh, okay. We, you know, straight company. We go into Savannah in a few weeks, and so okay. when I when I get back off that tour. Okay. And I, I go in for that. And man, yeah, it was just weird, Stevie B. They were talking about drink half of it at two PM, yeah. drink yeah. Take, the, take yeah. the pills at six PM and then drink the rest yeah. at four PM. I yeah. said, Lord God. Yeah. I said, What in the world is gonna happen right here? Now, now have yeah. you ever had one before? I had one before, but I didn't have to do all this kind of stuff. They just sent me a bottle, and I drank it, and went on in the next day. But this is okay. this one is a little different. Yeah, well, so, I've had a few of them in my lifetime, so yeah. Uh, you? Oh, yeah, I don't, okay. have, I don't have to take another one for another ten years. So what a blessing! What yeah, a blessing! Good. What a good. Praise the praise yeah. the Lord. <laughs> praise the Lord. He's worthy to be praised. But in the meantime, Amen. man, I, I really love those last two spins that you did. Yeah, bro. Um, yeah. It's wonderful. You said those were the Melody Airs? The Melody Airs and Wonder Tucker Waller. And those songs, oh. now those those tracks, that was a 1995 track I played from the Melody Airs, but Wonder Waller's oh, album was in 2004. And you see how good that production was, man? For oh, those man. I just, oh, I'm excellent. Telling. I'm telling you, bro. Absolutely. Absolutely excellent. You. Yeah. I, tell you, I tell you, just so proud of these artists that, that yeah, have, man. you know, brought up their game and making the genre positive. Yeah. And then Stevie yeah. B, of course, where, where would we all be without the Stevie B? I know, right? And and I can just it kick is. myself, George. I can kick myself because I was on tour with Von Tucker Waller in Birmingham, Alabama in 2022. And I did not oh, take wow. a picture. I didn't take a picture with her. <laughs> well, we gonna, she may show up for the camera. I mean, for I the hope camera. she comes to the camera. So, yeah, I hope she comes yeah, to the camera. We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll both get to take a picture of it. Doc. Yeah, 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 her and her family, yeah. man. We had a great time with her and her family uh, on that tour. Wonderful. Man. Hey, George G, tell us what's been going on with you, man. Tell us about the tour. How's the tour going? Man, this tour is popping. It is off the chain, man. It's what we used to call back in the day, hand clapping, foot stomping, turn them right. to the side and swamp your mama, them folks can show them. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, you know, you know Straight always, Company. The Straight Company always has some good shows, man. Man, I you tell got, you, the Lord is just... Go ahead. No, I was just going to say, you guys just... You, you're professionals, man. You all know how to do it. Yeah, I'll know how to do it. Stevie B, uh, you know, I don't know if anybody's out there listening, but if you're listening, I, I can just really say it like this. Uh, while a lot of singing groups are sleeping, I'm talking about sleep. I'm talking about at home, in their bed, sleeping, in their prospective places. When we get together, mm-hmm. we put in, and I'm just kind of giving away a straight company secret here. We put in uh, eight to ten hours of rehearsal, mm-hmm. uh, and then when we are, at, and then when we are away from each other as individuals, we put in our rehearsal time. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times, while others are asleep. We are we are up. We grinding. Mm-hmm. That's what we do. Well, and, you know, uh, Jesse, I was going to say, Jesse came on the show a few years ago. Yeah. He was telling us how hard he'd be drilling straight company members. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, man. Jesse put... Jesse put us in a room. Jesse put us in the room, turn off the lights and make us yeah. hear our breathing and, and right. sing. Yeah, he, he's really... Yeah, he's really an excellent... Uh, uh, driller. If I can just <laughs> use, use that word, I was yeah. gonna say taskmaster. <laughs> yeah, I think I think he used to be a drill yeah. sergeant in the military. No, That's no, he ain't never been in the military. Yeah, he ain't never been in the military, but I've been in the military. So, but right. I do understand. I do understand the discipline and dedication right. that it takes, and. And Stevie B. God is really opening some phenomenal doors for us. I wish I could just share some of the doors we're about to walk through, but uh, I'm going to be quiet about it all out. You know, the, the the you'll just be pleasantly surprised when it happens. Well, you can happens. tell me all about it. You can tell me all about it when I see you at the camera, Lord Say So, and yes, Thanksgiving yeah. weekend. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm, yes, I'm 
trying to talk up this camel man because I'm trying to see as many people as I can at camel this year. Because this will be my first one. I want to see everybody. Stephen B., you're going to absolutely enjoy it. Uh, I think it's really, from what I'm hearing and understanding, it is really ramping up well from from the West Coast to the East Coast to the right. Southeast and the Southwest. Right. It appears on this one, everybody is coming. And so yeah. uh, you're going to be pleasantly surprised. And, uh, and and I believe that we're really going to have a great time. Uh, I think Al Pratt, Amen. John, everything, they're really rolling out a, a really, really good uh format here from what hey, I'm hearing. I, I am looking so forward to it. And I I sent uh Callie J T a message yesterday about the gala. So now y'all gonna have a gala because I went and bought me a tux the other day. <laughs> oh, they gonna have a gala now. <laughs> yeah. No worries on no worries on that Doc. You're gonna have a place yeah. to wear your tux suit and, all, right. and all your <laughs> and all your other glam and blitz and and things of that nature. No, yeah. no worries on that, man. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, it's gonna I'm, be, I'm it's gonna excited, be wonderful. Man. I'm excited. I'm excited. I am excited. I'm I told, I told I'm John, they ain't got to give me nothing. They don't have to give me nothing this year. I just want to be in the place. I just want to be there. Well, well, I feel the same way. And uh, what I'm real excited about is to take a look at these up and coming young folk and uh man i've just been praying stevie b i'm gonna I'm get me some young folk and i'm gonna take them on out there doc i'm gonna do all that. right I'm, all I'm gonna right do, yeah man, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna find me i'm gonna find me a little group anybody out there listening hit hit clue clue yeah now, man i'm gonna find me what about that group yeah. out of Chicago that you brought on the show? Um, Man, uh, that they're, they're they're still we we still together. Uh, you know, okay. COVID kind of put us you know put us in a in a slowdown. Yeah, well, the gospel blend, phenomenal yeah, singing. Blend. Yeah, yeah, gospel yeah. blend uh, and with uh, Steve Steve Thompson, uh, yeah. phenomenal uh, vocalist and psalmist mm-hmm. and praise and worship leader. Um, yeah, yeah, we just haven't uh, done anything due to the, you know, uh, number one COVID hit. And then I got mm-hmm. real busy with with the tour here with Straight Company, of course. Right. And then, But they're still doing some phenomenal things. Yeah, but okay. they're, of course, up in the Midwest area. So, mm-hmm. um, of course, I'm uh, back and forth from Boca Raton up to Rock Island. So next mm-hmm. time I go to Rock Island, they were definitely uh, on my uh, on my call list, too. I'm gonna have to put I'm gonna have to put the gospel blend on my playlist, man. I need to play them some more. Yeah, the man. Yeah. Yeah. Get the gospel blend on your on your playlist. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I'm looking for some uh I'm looking for some young folk, a little bit younger, you know, some uh uh some some teenagers uh that uh wanna use their talents for the Lord and you know, and stay in school, don't be no fool, go to college, right. all that right. good stuff. That's right. And uh uh, Stevie B, God has blessed me, man, and I, you know, I'm not bragging, but God has blessed me. There, there, there ain't nowhere I can't get to in the music industry. I'm talking, there, there ain't nowhere. Yeah, I can That's get anywhere cool. in the, in the music industry, and uh, uh, and of course I had to work for that, <laughs> you right. know, right, right, and uh, but uh, I'm grateful and I'm thankful, and uh, I just believe that the Lord wants us to walk through those doors because, you know, everybody needs Jesus, Doc. Amen. Everybody, and needs, then, to, everybody needs to hear this ancient Jerusalem gospel. Yes, right. sir. And if we ain't yeah. trying to sow the seed of the kingdom, what we doing? You know? Man, I tell you, I tell you, there's a scripture, man, and I didn't mean to turn preachy on you, you know, but it's just the word that's been in my heart all day over there in Zephaniah. You know mm-hmm. Zephaniah, don't you? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Uh, I Old Testament father Zephaniah. Uh, I believe it's around uh, chapter three, around verse seventeen. And if I can quote it correctly, the Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest. Uh, he will rest um, in love in his love, and he will. Rejoice over us with singing. Mm. Stevie B, the Lord gets, the Lord sings with us, Doc. Amen. (laughs) 
You ain't Amen. hearing this deep. I hear you. I hear you. And, and you know, I'm thinking. I'm actually thinking about that song that um, Anthony yeah. Carter he he just uh, released on his last album. That was his 2020 My All album. Give me a song to yeah. sing like Jesus. You know that like song? Jesus. Oh, oh I yeah. do, man. Give me a song <laughs> to sing like Jesus. Like no, no, you got to no, you got to do it like that. But give me a song to sing like Jesus. What a pristine voice he has, man. Yeah. And Adam oh phenomenal God. songwriter, man. Yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. Give me yeah. a song. That's, that's, that's like my you. dude right there. Tony Cotter. Yeah. Yes, he was on tour yes, with us. He was on tour with us. Yeah. That's right. Uh, yeah. That's right. See, Stephen B got a chance to get out the studio. I got to say, it's good. That's why I'm always hey, talking about B. it. I'm just excited. <laughs> Listen, Stevie B, you know, I got to go and give a shameless plug here. And I thank you for giving me a little time for coming in. And I apologize for coming in late. You know, Straight Company, we're taking a cruise next year. Right. Stevie B, uh, between July the 7th and the 12th. Now, you know what? We'll have a phenomenal time if we had Stevie B on that cruise with us. Hey, hey, tell Stay Company to send me a ticket. I'll be there. No. Okay, well, next time we have our meeting, next time at our next meeting, which is in a few days here, I'm, I'm going to yeah. drop your name off, All off right. in the mix there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that'd be wonderful, be wonderful hey, I, to hey, have you back. I love a cruise just like the next fella love a cruise, you know. Man, we all love cruising. Yeah, man. Yeah. We all, we all love yeah. cruising. Yeah. Out there yeah. on a, in the vast ocean, yes yeah. sir. Yeah. Hey, hey, brother. Thank you for riding with us on the blast. I got a single that I want to play for Straight Company, Unto His Own. Tell us about this single, Unto His Own. This is from the, your 2005 album, Courtesy of God. Unto His Own, but His Own would not receive Him, mm-hmm. but He was the one that would come and. Save the world. That's yeah, John yeah. one. That's John chapter one, verse eleven and twelve. Yes, eh? sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. He's that's the good one. preaching right there. But, yes, sir. That's good preaching ground, sir. And <sighs> so, uh, yeah. uh, you know, Jesse is is uh, of course he's our primary writer in the group. I call, you know, I call him Jesse, aka E Sage. E Sage. Uh, he's been. Yeah. He says he's a phenomenal lyrical uh, priest in the body of Christ, and and the, I believe that the Lord allowed him to pen that, of course, through uh, through the prophetic writ of uh, of Scripture. But it is it is just so profound yes, how uh, how the Lord comes to us, how how He comes to us, and then there were seasons in our all of our lives that we just didn't receive Him. And we didn't receive him because we didn't recognize or even know that he was the one That's <laughs> that right. would come, not only to save the world, but to save us. Yeah. yeah. So well, that's just, what the uh, book says. That's what the book yeah. says. Yeah, it's just yeah. a beautiful anthem, just a beautiful mm-hmm. anthem. And uh, uh, I love it. Uh, and I and I love it, and I love that album as, as well. As a matter of fact, it's one of my favorite albums of all the albums that we've done. He, okay. I, I favor this one more so than our new one. I really do. I love our new oh, album. Oh, really? But, uh, okay. I do. I really do. Courtesy of God. Um, you know, I think at the time we was our, our president of our record company, Benson Records. He had passed away, oh, and okay. uh, that that album was really uh to do well in the market and uh mm-hmm. so it, it wasn't given the chance that it should have been given that's what i'm saying okay you know just saying that well, from business well you all straight company got some nice tracks on i mean you all got a lot of great music out there i haven't even scratched the surface when it comes to straight company no sir no sir you really haven't and uh we got a real we got a lot of exciting things coming up Man, I want to spill the beans, but I'm not going to do it. <laughs> okay. I'm, not, I'm not going to do it, but we have some truly, truly phenomenal things that are that are coming and that are happening that's going to 
you know, we're we're older men now, and I know right. we got to go, but we're older men. But this this some of the next moves that we're making here is just gonna really put us, uh, you know, it's gonna it's gonna mark our legacy. We're gonna mm-hmm. be able to you know to leave a mark, you know, within the church, uh, and some landmarks to let the world know that hey. You know, straight company passed this way, and uh, Amen. This, is what, you know, this is what we did, and so, and we're proud of that. We really, hey, are. and yeah. you should be. You should be. Yeah. You all have been on the road a, a long time. This group was established in 1975, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. 1975. Yeah. I was, yeah. I was about oh no, I was about six years old. <laughs> 19. <laughs> I was about, I was about, about. I think I was about eight. Could have been a little yeah. bit, a little bit younger. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, and, uh, and so the Lord chose us for the uh, chose us for the assignment, and uh, and, and I'm grateful. I'm Amen. grateful. Yeah. Hey, brother, Amen. I am just grateful. I'm grateful to have you on the show, and I'm also grateful to have the relationships that I have with Straight Company and so many other groups uh, as well. So I'm I'm thankful for the position that the Lord put me in. You know, I'm loving Stevie it. B, Stevie B, we are all thankful and grateful for you. And I'm going to tell you, uh, uh, I was having a conversation with uh, um, the Dead Series. I was having a conversation with East Age a few months ago, and we were talking about you. And uh, and we said, Stevie B doesn't realize the, the magnitude of his ministry, but one day he is going to. Amen. Amen. The, the magnitude, the your ministry, and, and I say this all the time, Stevie B, after the show is over tonight, when you rest somewhere, somebody in the world, while you're sleeping, will be listening to this show. Mm. We'll be listening to this show. Maybe we'll be listening to our conversation, and they're going to be encouraged by what they're saying. Uh, I want to give a shout-out, and, and then I'm going to really let you go. Hold on, because I want to get his name right. He's a friend of mine I've been corresponding with, and uh, he's over in India. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to send him this show okay. so he can hear this shout out. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to send let him me, this. I'm going to send him the show. Me, let me tell you. Let me tell you what my daughter did today. Um, you know, we we I'm doing driver's training with my daughter. She's oh, seventeen. She, she's seventeen. <laughs> And and as and as we're driving along, she pulls up her, out her phone and through her stereo in her car, she put on Stevie B's acapella gospel music blast. I didn't even know she listened to the show. Look, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Look at that. And when she blasts that thing through them speakers, I looked at her like, oh, wow. Because I'm like, every time I hear this thing, like, that's that's me. That's, she said, that's my daddy on the radio. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> I'm, like, I'm telling wow. you, man. Yeah. I know that's why. I know, the, I, I know the feeling of that. I remember the first time I heard myself on the radio riding down the highway, I mm. pulled over and cried like a baby. Wow. I did. I look because I, I was like, Lord, you let my scraggly little old voice be heard by mm. hundreds of thousands of folk at one time. Right. It's just a, an amazing feeling. So, yeah. yeah. I still pinch Wonder. myself, you know. So. Amen. Well, Praise keep on Lord. pinching. Buddy. Thank you. Yeah. Keep on, keep on pinching. Keep on praising. Yes. Keep on doing what to do. So, yeah. Yeah. So, I want to hey. give a shout out before we go, man. His name is. Uh, his name is Budala Ashok Kumar. Budala Ashok. Yeah. And he's in <laughs> India? He's from he's India. In... Okay. Yeah. He's from India. And they have the Church of Christ in the Kep Gulde. Uh, the, All uh, right. The Kep Gulde Pe. What a blessing. <laughs> what a blessing. <laughs> what a blessing. Christ, yeah. Go into all the yeah. world and preach the gospel. Yeah. That's what it's all he about. Sent me some, he sent me some pictures today. They had five baptisms last week. Amen. And, uh, and uh, I need some prayer because they want me to come over there. And uh, and I'm like, okay, Lord, we need to figure this out. <laughs> yeah, go, go, hey, go and get them shots and get on over there. 
<laughs> you get the shots and we'll go together. <laughs> yeah. All right. We'll we'll pray on that. Yeah. 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 Amen. 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 Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, my man George G from Boca Raton, Florida. He's a member of the International Recording Artist Straight Company out of Louisville, Kentucky. We have a single unto his own, the 2005 album, Courtesy of God. And this group was also the 2022 recipient for the Nakama Contemporary Artist of the Year. Can't fail to mention that. Hey, George G., thank you, brother, for riding with us on the blast tonight. Certainly appreciate it. CBB, thank you, man. We love you real good. Peace. Yes, sir. Enjoy this single from Straight Company, Unto His Own. You're going to love this song. You got Stevie B on the one cent. Jesus brought his love. Came unto his own. But his own did not receive. He had no home.
TV right now because I don't have what a lot of Christians have, which is false humility. I don't. I don't have false humility. I don't know how to do what y'all do so greatly. I mean, y'all do it so live. I be watching interviews. They say, man, you sing, you sing great or you did this. It's not me. I'll be like, wow, all that rehearsal you did, all that practice, you ain't going to take none of that credit? I say, yeah, I can't do that. I ain't going to be able to do it. I'm not, I'm, I'm not, because, you know, folks ask the question, they'll say stuff like, oh, you know, they'll say stuff like, you know, bro, um, 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 you really blessed us tonight. You know, you were funny, and, and, and I enjoyed you tonight, and I'm not going to say I'm going to say thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Go buy my CD and my T-shirts. Uh, show me how funny I was tonight. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I just, yeah, I just don't have, I don't have the false humility thing. You know, a lot of times churches are called and they'll want me to do a show. And then, you know, they'll hit me with the, you know, say, brother, um, don't you do this for the Lord? <laughs> and I'll be like, No. You know, he gave me the ability to do it, but I do this for mortgage. Uh, uh, red bottom. I'm just saying, because I got bills. You know, if it's two things in my life that's faithful. That's God and bills. Them bills are faithful. Stevie B's Funny Bones. <laughs>
gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. I hope you're enjoying the flight tonight on the blast. I'm playing some of the world's greatest acapella gospel music artists, the sweet sounds of voices. We're flying 30,000 feet, and I'm dropping bombs everywhere. What's your name? And my name is Maggie. Hey, brother Law. Hey, my name. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. I guess I guess my brother in law didn't let the cat out the bag. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me get let me get your names and tell us now where it. you call it from. <laughs> <laughs> my name <is> Billy. <laughs> And my name is Maggie. Uh, We're calling from Thomasville, North Carolina. Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I guess you have guessed now that this is these are my relatives. <laughs> 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 How y'all doing tonight? Yeah, we doing good. We enjoying the show. We flying thirty thousand right. feet. <laughs> you, fly, you flying thirty thousand feet? That's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> I hope y'all got y'all parachutes on, because every now and then we get, we might have to bail. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, I'm I'm just messing with you. I love the fact that you all are riding with me on the blast on a Friday night. You know I appreciate it. <laughs> now, tell me what you think about that interview I had with George G. and, and Corey Felton, if you heard the show earlier with Corey. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. We enjoyed it. Yeah, Corey got some nice tracks. Corey putting out some good yeah. music. Yeah. yeah, yeah sir. Have you all heard have you all heard that song uh that he put out it was about a month ago, Give Jesus a Try. Have you heard that? No, I haven't. I'm gonna have to play I should play that tonight. I don't I don't I might have to play that tonight. Corey Corey does a great job. And of course, you know, straight company always putting out some good music anyway. I mean that playlist. My playlist is hot tonight. I don't care what nobody say. That playlist is hitting tonight. <laughs> yeah, George D. He had a whole lot of information. Yep. I like listening yeah. to him. He have a lot of information oh, to yeah. share. He always a... helping people, like young people and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, telling very, people such a good work. Yeah. yeah. Very seasoned brother. That brother's been in the business. He's been a Christian. He's just doing the work of a Christian that a Christian is supposed to be doing. So yeah, I, yeah. I love having George D. on the show. I don't know why he won't just be one of my co-hosts. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm always I'm always messing with him, but yeah, I just love having him on the show. Hey guys, thank you for riding with us on the show tonight. Really appreciate you. Appreciate you, brother Law. All right, brother Law. Hey y'all, hey, y'all got your stuff together for the camera. Y'all getting ready for the camera? We getting yeah. it. We getting it ready. All right. All roads lead to Jacksonville. I know that. <laughs> Duval <laughs> County. Looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Hey, guys, enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you, guys. You know I love you guys. All right. Love you, too. All right. Stevie B's Rock Coming up next, I got a double play coming your way. The Missouri City Singers out of Missouri City, Texas. You're going to find, you're going to love this song from their 2004 album, Sanctuary. And that'll be followed by my man Steve Adams out of Houston, Texas. He has a new single entitled Another Level. You're going to love this song. Enjoy this double play, the Missouri City Singers and Steve Adams. You got Stevie B on the ones and two. 
California, and I'm listening to Stevie B's Acapella Music Blast. Ooh. 
Good day, family. It's your boy, George G, a.k.a. George G International, G-G-I-G to the double E. You're listening to the phenomenal sounds of acapella gospel music blast where the bass note bumps and the E note jumps and the sopranos and the altos and the tenors make you sway. Oh, yeah, it's a head knocker, baby, and a rock and cheer rocker acapella gospel music blast. Your host. Stevie B, spinning the voices that soothe the soul, flying at 30,000 feet, not missing a beat. Acapella, gospel, music blast. Stevie B's Acapella, gospel, music blast. Hey, this is John Poo Malone. And you're listening to the acapella gospel music blast with Stevie B. This is a program reminder. Stevie B Media Production presents... We're airing live shows here on Blog Talk Radio. The telephone number to the live show is 713-955-0508. And the website is www.blogtalkradio.com forward slash gospel light radio show. We're airing live shows on Tuesday evening every second, third, and fourth Tuesday of the month. The second Tuesday of the month, this show will air from 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 to 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And on that show, we have a guest speaker from the Brotherhood of the Churches of Christ who will be making their proclamation of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And also during that show, we have the Community Corner segment. That segment is designed for small business owners and entrepreneurs who have Protestant services for our communities. I also have two co-hosts on that show, Lou Gilbert. He serves with the Timothy Church of Christ there in Houston, Texas, and also Isa Mullins. He serves with the he's the evangelist for the Helen Street Church of Christ in Fayetteville, North Carolina. And on the third Tuesday of the month, that show airs at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. My co-host is Dr. Entherica Lane. She's a board-certified obstetrician and gynecologist, and she'll be and she serves with the Church of Christ there at the Kennedy Heights in Cincinnati, Ohio. She also hosts her show, Conversations with Dr. Lane. And on the fourth Tuesday of the month, that show will air at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And my co-host is Paul Sanders. He's the evangelist for the Smithsonian Church of Christ there in Florence, Alabama. And he'll be hosting his show, The Paul Sanders Show. Then on Thursday evening, I'm hosting a live show, The Gospel Light Radio Show. And this show will air from 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 to 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And there are eight co-hosts on that show. Clay Phillips from the state of Georgia, Dr. Frank Washington from the state of Florida, Steve Carter from the state of Indiana, Manuel B. Jonikin from the state of Alabama, Glenn McMillian from the state of Texas, Stanley Hubbard from the state of Indiana, and Yusuf Ford from the state of Indiana, and John Foster from the state of North Carolina. And on this show, these brethren will be presenting lessons from the Word of God, and each week I have two of my co-hosts on the show with me. I'm also taking a question from my social media platform on Facebook called Shout It Out. I'll be posing to one of my co-hosts on that live show. Then on Friday night, I'm hosting the live show, Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. This show is the 2022 recipient for the NACAMA National Academy of Christian Acapella Music Artists Award for Outstanding Achievement in Record or Radio. This show will air from 9 to 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 8 to 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. And on this broadcast, I'm playing some of the world's greatest acapella gospel music artists, the sweet sounds of voices. We're also interviewing artists, producers, writers, etc. And we're also debuting new music and featuring old music on this show as well. We're doing a top 20 countdown show every quarter, every three months, we have the top 20 countdown show. We also have our on-demand episodes, and these uh, shows are on the various musical platforms, wherever you're getting your podcast from, Spotify, Pandora, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, Apple iTunes, YouTube, just to name a few. And we also have recorded version shows as well. These shows were, the album debuts mostly, so 
the playlist is the same as it was on the live show. And these shows can only be heard on iHeartRadio, on Deezer, and also on Amazon Music. Just search for Stevie B Recorded Version Shows. We also want to thank all of our sponsors who are sponsoring these radio shows. If you'd like to become a sponsor, just contact my sponsorship manager, Michelle Marco, from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And her telephone number is 954 687 Four seven zero five. The three E's of Stevie B Media Production. It is the objective of this broadcast. We want to educate. We want to edify. We want to encourage you in a study of God's Word. And that will conclude our program announcements. Stevie B's acapella gospel music class. <laughs> This is Troy Marables of Made New Acapella in Louisville, Kentucky, and you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Dropping the beat. Beat, beat, beat. Stevie B. The Blaster Master. Uh, acapella gospel music. Stevie B. Stevie B's monthly trip, trip, triple. Spin, spin, spin. For the month of August, we have been featuring Rage in Harmony from Nashville, Tennessee. We did an exclusive interview with a few of the members of the acapella group, Melissa Lancaster, Brother Anthony Lancaster, Ann Jones, and Aaron Schatz from Dallas, Texas. And we have three singles from their two albums, their 2019 album, Inhalation, and the 2021 uh, album, Coronation. And the three singles that we have been featuring for the month of August is entitled Oceans, that'll be followed by The Promise, and The Promises, rather, and Call Me Higher. You're going to love my monthly triple spin for the month of August. Stevie B's, Stevie B's monthly trip, trip, triple spin, spin, spin. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood Nothing but the blood What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood Nothing but the blood Our God is greater Our God is stronger Not in our higher than Him Nothing 
the presence of my
Rochester, New York, and you're listening to Stevie B's acapella gospel music blast. Hey, 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 y'all. Hey, y'all. This is Stephanie Booker Wilson of Stephanie Sings Vocal Studio, and you're listening to the acapella gospel music blast with Stevie B. Boom, boom, baby. I needed you to reach out and take my hand and guide me Hey, this is John Poo Malone, and you're listening to the Acapella Gospel Music Black with Stevie B. Hey. Hey. Your favorite DJ, CBB, the Blaster Master of Acapella Gospel Music. CBB's Old 100s. My Old 100 feature has been dedicated to my dear sister and friend, the late Wavonda General Connor from Dayton, Ohio. We just want to keep our memory alive on this radio broadcast. CBB's Old 100s. This week's O100 will feature the North Mississippi a cappella out of Hernando, Mississippi. Their single, Lord Bill Mill Cabin, from the 2000 album Free Spirit. That'll be followed by the Fairfield Four, their single, Born Again, from their 1998 
album uh, in the safety zone. And this group was also the 1998 Grammy Award winning for Best Traditional Gospel Artist. Enjoy my O100. Stevie B's Old 100s. Many years I've been looking for a place to call home, but I failed here to find it, so I must try for long. I don't care if I mention on earth singing sand, Lord, build me a cabin in the corner of Florida. Not asking to live in the midst, for I know I'm not worthy of such splendor and peace. But I'm asking for mercy while humbly I stand. Lord, build me a cavern in the corner of the red land. He has built me. Just a cabin, daughter, in the corner of glory land. In the shade of the tree of life that in may ever stand. Where I can just hear the angels sing and shake my Jesus hand. Lord, yes, did fill me a cabin, cabin in the corner of glory land. Listen, I have been. Lord, 
Cubby left his wife hanging on his leg. Not again, Herbie, you'll die out there. Shut up, I gotta run, I run every day. I don't get jogging, I've tried it. I wasn't very good, I'd run a mile, buy half a dozen donuts, and then walk home. I ran every day for a month and a half and gained 21 pounds. So. I don't care what your doctor tells you, that jogging will pack on the flab, man. So a friend of mine said your problem is uh, you don't understand it. You have a lack of information. If you understood it more, you'd enjoy it more. <laughs> he bought me a book on jogging. They write books on how to jog. How intellectually deprived do you have to be to not figure out how to jog? Where do you run into problems? Oh, gee, I'm skipping again. You know, honey, there's a lot more to this jogging than meets the eye. Are there people in America so dense they see runners on the horizon? How do they do that? There's got to be a book. And the book is thick. It means they fill it with information you'll never use. One chapter, one whole chapter devoted to how to train for a marathon. I read the first line and looked at my wife and said, like, I uh, will ever live 26 miles from a donut shop. Why else would anybody run that far? Some information I used, what to do if you're ever out running and a dog chases you. That's right, that happens. And they tell you not to try to outrun the dog because the dog will catch you and bite you. So what you're supposed to do it was when you hear the dog, you stop running, you turn around, you face the beast, point your finger at him so he knows you're talking to him. You don't want any confusion about that. You know, an armadillo can run by, then you got total chaos. Just... After you point, you stomp your foot, you go, free! The loud voice is supposed to let the dog know you're the one in charge. Yeah. So I'm out jogging one morning, and trust me, this is the pace I jog at. I, I didn't want to break a sweat while I was out running, because we know how annoying that could be. And I got in my zone, and you runners know what a zone is. That's where your thoughts become so focused on one thing, and I'm thinking glazed. I'm going to get a glaze. Give me a cinnamon roll and a buttery croissant. From my zone, I get awoken by this vicious sound. <gasps> I stop running. And I turn around, coming down the street, full bore, with his teeth flared. These are teeth. <laughs> Is this tiny little three-legged dog. <laughs> Things missing his right front leg, and he is motoring. He's like... <laughs> well, perhaps I'm warped, but I thought it was the funniest thing I'd ever seen. I couldn't get freeze out. I was laughing at him. I just pointing at him and spitting on myself. He kept coming. So anyway, he got close enough to me. I got nervous. I let him have it. I went, free! And just like the book, the dog stopped. And began to tip where the lake was missing. Poor thing, I could see it in his eyes. Oh, not again! And he hopped up right away and growled. I was too late, man. You blew it. I was scared. I was. Man, not no more. Why don't you come with me? I'll get you Krispy Kreme. Stevie B's Funny Bones. <laughs> Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Hope you're enjoying the flight tonight on the blast. I'm playing some of the world's greatest a cappella music artists, the sweet sounds of voices. We're flying 30,000 feet, and I'm dropping bombs everywhere. Oh, Stevie B, I'm so glad. 
We have a new single that we're debuting on the broadcast for my song of the week entitled Storm of Life. Enjoy my song of the week. Stevie B's Song of the Week. As the day begins, I can't help but wonder how it's going to end. Storms of life raging all around. Look at the time now. Do you ever think it's going to stop? Where are the good times? All around this world There's one thing that I know for sure All of a sudden it's going to come to an end We're in Yeah I want to be a mom Stevie B 
on the ones and twos. Just let go and let God. Just let go and let God. Just let go and let God. She'll show you. Just let go and let God. Just let go. Let go and let him lead you. Yeah. Thinking you should find he can feed you. Feed you. Fighting all these demons. He the only one that's gonna believe you. Believe you. Yeah, I really wanna let go. go. Should have rolled with you from the get go. I need help trying to let him know. Yeah. I need help trying to give him flow. Yeah. Screw face got two faces. So my soul split in two places. Oh. Fighting each other like two races. Got enough sin for two graces. God tell me what I don't know. Either don't care or they don't show. They got me in a chokehold. So I probably need to let go.
Washington from Journey Acapella, and you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Play. This is Crystal Stevenson from Greensboro, North Carolina. Hey, this is Amber Baldwin from Greensboro, North Carolina. This is Dodge Burnett coming from Charlotte, North Carolina. Hey, this is Teray Mack out of Jacksonville, Florida, representing Duval. We are the one and only Testament Acapella, and you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Music Blast. With you is where I want to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Hey, this is John 
Sean Poo Malone. And you're listening to the acapella gospel music blast with Stevie B. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, according to the clock on the wall, it's time for me to bring this big iron bird on down to the ground. I need to bring it on down. I need to bring it on down. got this big iron bird safely on the ground. This is the part of the show where I have to say goodnight. I got to go. (laughs) I really enjoy playing these inspirational songs and tickling your funny bone. I want to thank my special guest on the show tonight, my man, George G. from Boca Raton, Florida. He's a member of the International Recording Artist Straight Company out of Louisville, Kentucky. And also my man, Corey Felton from Rockledge, Florida. He debuted a new single on the show tonight. I also want to thank my listeners who are riding with me on the blast tonight. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Ladies and gentlemen, you cannot deny what you're on the blast on a Friday night. I'm playing some of the world's greatest acapella gospel music artists, the sweet sounds of voices. But I want to thank most of all the God of heaven through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for allowing me the privilege, and it is indeed a privilege, be to spend this time with you on a Friday night. So until we meet again, may God continue to bless your lives and may he bless you real, real good. You've been listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Take us on off the show. I have a, my a single from Genesis Archer. Now, Genesis Archer, I have given her this 19th slot on my playlist because she will always have a special place in my heart. Oh, yes, she will. Now, Genesis was the presenter of my Nakama Award in the year 2022 in Jacksonville, Florida, and I am so looking forward to meeting Genesis this year at this year's Camel Awards. So I'm going to make sure I take a picture with you, Genesis. <laughs> now, Genesis was also the 2019 recipient for the Worldwide Music Award female vocalist of the year and in 2014 she was the recipient for the nakama artist of the year in 2016 she was the recipient for the nakama best female vocalist so she's a well-accomplished artist so i am so looking forward to meeting genesis archer and that'll be followed by made new acapella out of louisville kentucky their single i made it over and they this is from the 2016 album through the fire and this group has received numerous uh camo awards as well in 20 12, they received the Lakama New Artist of the Year. And in 2018, they received the Lakama Artist of the Year. Enjoy this double play, taking us on off the show by Genesis Archer and Made New Acapella. Let me hit you with three pieces before I get on up out of here. Peace, peace, peace. <laughs> and I'll see you, Lord Say So, on the other side. Good night, everybody. I'm Stevie B. And I'm out. <laughs>